when I make stuff, I'm doing it for me and um, I think that that's the best way to be successful. Hi, my name's Nina and I live in King Cumber with my dogs. My parents have always been like really awesome and supportive of everything that I've wanted to do because I haven't always wanted to do music like there's other stuff. It sort of started when I was like eight because um, my mum got a an iMac and I found GarageBand and I was like, oh my god, this is so fun. Um, I kind of delved into software and found this one which was FL Studio and that's what I still use today and I got that when I was in like year seven or eight, I think year eight. Um, so I just kind of, um, I, I played on it for a year or two and it took a long time to learn and I'm still like very nervous when it comes to using it but I mean every day like practicing a little bit you learn new things every now and then. I don't know if like women don't get as much recognition within the scene because they like I don't know I don't know why but I, I feel like it's kind of perceived as like a men's game and um, like when I started getting into it that didn't even kind of cross my mind but I can see like as a girl I can see how it would kind of impact like the decisions of other women to kind of get into that stuff because it, it is like so like you look at all like the lists of like top 100 whatever there's probably like two chicks in there and that kind of sucks because um a lot of women try really hard and are technically better but that like i mean that's not even like a gender thing that's just like a lot of people are technically better but there's really no difference like to what i actually do just because i'm a girl like, no difference at all I think that goes for everyone. <laughs> this one party I did, um, it was a girl who I didn't know too well and I knew like two people there. Someone came up to me and they were like, when's the DJ getting here? And I was like, hi. <laughs> um, it was kind of awkward and I didn't know how to explain myself but I just kind of went like, this is me, I'm doing this. And they were like, oh, okay, cool. And I mean, I could tell that there was some kind of judgment coming from them, but they didn't want to be an asshole to my face. I just find that there are so many people who kind of are riding a trend as opposed to, you know, being true to themselves and doing something that they love. Like you can kind of pick up on who is just doing this because it's big at the moment and who is doing it because they really love it. But I mean, like I think there are a lot of efforts to get women into um, music, especially electronic music. There's, I know FBI Radio, I did volunteer work with them last year they have like this thing called dance class and it's like specifically for women in electronic music I thought that was really cool but the, the TK gigs even cooler because I'm I've been picked up because they like what I do not because I'm a girl like I'm being viewed as an artist and not a gender <laughs> do you know what I mean today it's the first of October <clears throat> and I've got my gig at the Beery this afternoon um, I'm performing as Nina Jirachi. I'm doing a DJ set right before TK Mides up. Super exciting, but I'm also really nervous because it's the biggest gig that I've ever played. Um, we're on the way there. I'm very nervous now. <laughs> I think there will be a lot of people there, so you know, there's a bit of a crowd to impress that I haven't really played in front of before. 